Today, we're diving deep into some electrifying news surrounding Elon Musk and the future of battery technology. There's a lot of buzz about a potential shift away from the 4680 battery and some groundbreaking materials that could change everything by 2024. Let's get right into it. We all know the electric revolution is charging full speed ahead. But to truly ditch fossil fuels for electricity in our cars, homes, and even heating, we need a monumental amount of battery storage. Experts estimate we're talking about a staggering 300 terawatt hours. To put that into perspective, at our current pace, it would take roughly 50 years to generate that much juice. This isn't just a slow charge, it's a flat-out sprint to prioritize better, faster, and more scalable energy storage solutions. And who's often at the forefront of this sprint? None other than the tech titan himself, Elon Musk. For a while now, Musk has championed manganese-based cathodes as the ideal for battery production. Why? Because manganese is abundant, allowing for truly massive scalability. And guess what? Tesla, along with brilliant scientists, has reportedly been developing a manganese-based hybrid battery that could potentially deliver in mind-blowing 1,000 kilometers, that's over 620 miles, on a single charge, all while driving down costs. Now, enter a new player with a potentially revolutionary breakthrough, Gone High Tech. This company has just announced a lithium-iron manganese phosphate, LMFP, battery, the Astroino L600. And get this, it also boasts a 1,000-kilometer range on a single charge. Now, LMFP isn't entirely new, it's an evolution of the already successful lithium-iron phosphate, LFP, battery. But Gone claims to have cracked the code on some of LFP's limitations, specifically manganese dissolution at high temperatures, low conductivity, and compaction density. How did they do it? Through some seriously impressive materials science, utilizing techniques like coprecipitation, doping, encapsulation, granulation tech, and advanced electrolyte additives. Let's talk numbers. This Astroino L600 LMFP battery isn't just about range, its performance metrics are jaw-dropping. We're looking at a weight energy density of 240WH-kg and a volume energy density of 525WH-l. But the real kicker? It's cycle life, a staggering 4,000 cycles at room temperature and even 1,800 cycles at high temperatures. To put that in perspective, it outperforms traditional LFP batteries, around 100 WH kg, by a massive 126%. So, how does this stack up against what's currently on the market? Well, let's take the Volkswagen ID.7, a solid EV with a range of around 438 miles. This LMFP battery could push that to 621 miles. That's creeping close to the record-breaking Mercedes Vision EQXX. And because of its high energy density, it could mean lighter and more compact battery packs. But the story doesn't end with range. The cycle life of these LMFP batteries is truly impressive. At high temperatures, it offers 1.8 times more cycles than Tesla's current 4680 battery. This translates to a significantly longer lifespan for your electric vehicle, potentially years of extra driving. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Who might be the mystery US automaker partnering with Gone? The smart money is on Tesla. Why? Well, there's a massive 200 GWH battery supply deal on the table between 2023 and 2028. Only a giant like Tesla would likely need that many LFP-based cells. Plus, Tesla already uses LFP batteries in their standard range vehicles. This agreement reportedly includes expansion and even local US production, hinting at a long-term strategic partnership. Further fueling this speculation is the news that Tesla is planning to test M3P batteries with LMFP cathodes for the Model Y. We're talking about a 72 kilowatt hour battery pack, supplied by none other than CATL with production slated to have begun in 2023 and a full rollout potentially happening in 2024. Could this be the end of relying solely on the 4680 for all models? It certainly points in that direction. And let's not forget the crucial factor, cost. LMFP batteries are inherently cheaper to produce because they use less lithium, replacing some of it with the more abundant and less expensive manganese. 
Experts predict a cost reduction of around 5% compared to LFP, potentially bringing the cost down to around $114 per kilowatt hour versus $120 for LFP. This could translate to an overall battery cost reduction of up to 16.84% for EVs, making them more accessible to everyone. But wait, there's more. LMFP batteries aren't just about range and cost, they also offer impressive charging speeds. We're talking about a 10% to 80% charge in just 18 minutes. This is partly due to their higher operating voltage of 4.1V compared to LFP's 3.4V, leading to superior electrochemical performance. Now, let's zoom out a bit and look at the bigger picture. Gone Hitech's commitment to innovation and sustainability is clear. They're not just focused on this LMFP breakthrough, they're actively exploring other cobalt-free, high-efficiency alternatives, recognizing the ethical and environmental concerns surrounding certain battery materials. Their ongoing investment in R&D positions them as a key player in the future of battery technology. And the market for LMFP batteries is poised for explosive growth. Already gaining traction in electric motorcycles, EVs, and energy storage, it's projected to expand significantly from 2022 to 2030. Some analysts even predict that by 2040, LMFP could capture 6% of the global battery market, potentially surpassing even sodium-ion technology. While the market was stable in 2021, the entry of more aggressive players is set to shake things up. Key global players in this space include giants like CATL, BYD, Lithium Australia NL, and more. But hold on, because Tesla has another fascinating card up its sleeve, their NMC532 battery technology. This isn't about replacing lithium entirely but optimizing the chemistry. NMC532 stands for 50% nickel, 30% manganese, and 20% cobalt. This blend offers enhanced thermal stability, safety, and energy density, enabling incredibly fast charging, potentially up to 90% in just 12 minutes. It can also power devices at a higher energy density than LFP. Tesla's commitment to sustainability and cost efficiency is also evident in their NMC532 research, aiming for cobalt-free cathodes using nickel and aluminum. Their single crystal cathodes are designed to dramatically reduce degradation, potentially leading to batteries that last for an astonishing 4 million miles or 6 million kilometers, with a lifespan of up to 100 years under ideal conditions. Material-wise, nickel is significantly cheaper than cobalt, potentially making NMC532 batteries up to 30% cheaper than traditional lithium-ion. This incredible longevity is further supported by Tesla's ongoing collaboration with the renowned professor Jeff Don at Dalhousie University. Their renewed long-term partnership and Tesla's patent filing for NMC532 signal a serious commitment to this technology, making it ideal for applications like robotaxis, long-distance trucks, and massive energy storage solutions, with Tesla aiming for over 500 GWh slash year in stationary storage capacity. So, how does NMC532 stack up against other chemistries? Compared to NMC811, which has more nickel for higher energy density but less stability, NMC532 strikes a better balance of energy, safety, and cost. And while some phone batteries use 100% cobalt, Tesla's approach with minimal cobalt reflects a focus on ethical sourcing and sustainability. Now, while all this battery innovation is electrifying, Let's take a quick detour to another highly anticipated Tesla development, the Cybertruck. Recent sightings of numerous casted components outside the Austin factory suggest that low-volume production might be starting. These components, potentially for the rear of the Cybertruck, indicate progress in manufacturing. Elon Musk has envisioned the Cybertruck as a vehicle capable of tackling extreme conditions, even crossing rivers and lakes. Its production relies on Tesla's advanced Giga Press machines. Expected features include adaptive air suspension, rear-wheel steering, the latest FSD computer, a revised yoke, and that iconic single windshield wiper. Tesla has reportedly informed suppliers to prepare for release candidates in late August and production potentially starting in early October, with an estimated annual capacity of 400,000 units. Finally, let's touch upon another potential battery game-changer, sodium-ion batteries. These are emerging as a cost-effective and safer alternative to lithium-ion. 
The market is projected to reach a massive $11 billion by 2033. The advantages of sodium ion are compelling, sodium is far cheaper and more abundant than lithium, it's less flammable, potentially more sustainable, can charge incredibly fast, up to 80% in 5 minutes, boasts better temperature tolerance, and some reports suggest a significantly longer lifespan. However, they currently have lower energy density and are still in the early stages of widespread adoption. Despite the limitations, development is rapidly progressing. The University of Sydney is working on a sodium sulfur battery with four times the energy density of lithium ion. Tubular salt batteries offer lower cost and simpler production. And even Tesla is getting in on the action. Developing a new Shanghai factory to produce megapack energy storage units using sodium ion cells. While lithium ion might be better for high performance needs right now, sodium ion holds immense potential for lower cost, safer applications. And let's not forget CATL's groundbreaking 2 million kilometer battery. This self-healing, long-life battery boasts a 16-year lifespan, significantly longer than current EV batteries, thanks to innovations like a low lithium consumption anode and advanced passivation interfaces. It also boasts a higher energy density than current sodium ion and even some lithium ion chemistries, along with super-fast charging capabilities. Tesla is even using CATL's M3P battery in the Model 3 refresh, offering improved range and other benefits over traditional lithium-ion. While potentially slightly more expensive initially, its longevity and performance could make it a game-changer. So, what's the takeaway from all this electrifying information? While the 4680 battery is still a crucial part of Tesla's plans, the emergence of advanced LMFP batteries from companies like Gone High Tech, coupled with Tesla's own advancements in NMC 532 and their exploration of sodium ion, signals a dynamic and rapidly evolving battery landscape. The quest for longer range, faster charging, lower costs, and more sustainable materials is far from over, and 2024 looks set to be a pivotal year in this energy revolution.